I tell you, that old Chevy cranked right on up. Check engine light was on. And as I was riding down the interstate, I was thinking about my brother Donald. What crime did he commit? Why can't nobody tell me the crime? What a sham. Me and my brother go way back, me and Donald. When, her, when Cadillacs didn't have hubcaps. When cigarettes boosted your immune system. Good times, man. What a sham. Oh, man. Beautiful people, my brothers and sisters, my beautiful patriots. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. Just here to bring you guys another amazing update. Y'all know we just did a video on this with uh, Fox and Judge Janine, man. Had a, it was so much said in that video, and you guys showed so much love. But we still trying to figure out what the crime is. Come on now, I'm waiting. Somebody tell me what, send, it, send me a PDF file, a document, an article, a report, something. Please, I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I am waiting. For real, where is the crime? What a sham, y'all. It's actually sick, man. And just to waste it all my beautiful patriots' time, everybody's time. You know, this is just a waste of energy. We shouldn't even be making videos like this, man, you know. But uh, shout out to my brother, William, that said, Rick, you got to go check out uh, Nez's uh, breakdown of uh, what took place. And um, yeah, the judge in there, then, then just it's out of control. He in there screaming, yelling, hollering. Yeah. Ah, just one, y'all. Just one. With the courage. Just one. Just one. Man, oh man. But I know my beautiful picture say, we don't care what the outcome is. It's Trump 2024, baby. And we're going to ride. And we're going to crack open a cold one in November. And we riding with the check engine light on. Some of y'all know when you get up in the morning, you get in that old truck, that old car. Sometimes even a new car. Check engine light on. Tire light on. A, uh, 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 oil light. And you ain't changed the oil in two, three months. You still riding. Oh, I'll change it next week. I'll change it next month. Yeah. That tire light been on since, since January. It's May. I know y'all. Y'all don't y'all not fooling me now. Y'all not my patriots not fooling me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But let's jump straight in, you guys. Um, but it, it did get crazy in the courtroom. And this is just this is just this is ridiculous, you guys. It really is, man. You know, it, it's so much evidence has come out, you know. Just everything has, has hit the fan. With everything, I got to watch my words, man, but the judge's daughter, I mean, it's just so much, man, that <laughs> boy, 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 Alvin, do nothing, brag, you got people, you know, just lying and lying, they want revenge, then you got a, a star, oh, boy, oh, <laughs> she don't even know what's going on or what took place, she just want a little piece of change out the deal, oh, Boy, this is bad, man. They just don't want the president to walk back in the, off the office and, and put his foot down and put that Make America Great hat on after he gets done slacking back that mullet and smiling and tells the fake news, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for it. But let me stop talking and yapping. Let's jump straight in. Link will be in the description box down below. Y'all know Professor Nez is an amazing guy. And I'm actually connected with all these amazing content creators. And we all chatted up and have an amazing time. Man. So make sure y'all go check him out. Show him some love. Um, he has an amazing channel as well. Link will be in the description box down below. And I want to thank my brother again for sending this over. Um, as he had an amazing breakdown that we're going to check out. And comment down below what y'all think of this, this situation, man. The outcome. And how you feeling. Comment down below. 2024. So we're going to crack open a cold one in November. Let's check it out. Charged with God knows what, supposedly it's sometimes known as the alias the Hush Money Trial. There's no crime, no victim. We know that he didn't do anything wrong. Many experts, legal and otherwise, have concurred. Today is closing summations, closing arguments from both the defense 
and both the prosecution. Well, guess what? We have some breaking news because Judge Fake Don Juan Mershon loses it again. He- I want y'all to know, man. Nobody has, nobody's never seen anything like this, you guys. And I know what y'all seen. Pierre had to say live, live. Yeah. On the what's the called show? And he endorsed Trump and everything. And says, nobody has ever seeing what Trump is going. He even said it seeing what Trump is going through right now makes me uh, is the reason why I'm going to go vote for him come November. Now I don't know if I can play the clip. I don't know if it'll it'll give me like a, a, a copyright or anything or again i'm not used to that show so um i'm gonna I'm check it out though and see if there's any like if it flags anything but if not you probably won't see it on here but uh yeah huh. he loses it again in court shouting and yelling completely becoming emotionally unhinged it is just unprecedented today what he did was he yelled at defense attorney uh, Todd Blanche, who inferred to the jury as he was giving his closing summation, his closing arguments, not to send Trump to prison based on a, a ridiculous preponderance of evidence, specifically regarded to Michael Cohen, who is a serial perjurist and a serial liar. Let's get into it. For the break, okay, they had a break this afternoon. Right now, as of this recording, there are closing arguments from the prosecution side. Before the break, the judge scolded Blanche for imploring jurors not to send Trump to prison on the words of Michael Cohen and said he would instruct the jury to disregard the comment. Prosecutor Joshua Steinglass had taken an issue with what he cast as a ridiculous comment and asked the judge to intervene. He says right here, in a very loud, perturbed, unhinged way, I think, quote, that saying that was outrageous. Mershon scolded Blanche, someone who's been a prosecutor as long as you have and a defense attorney as long as you have, you know that making a comment like that is highly inappropriate. Yet, this unreal, the audacity of the fake Don Juan Mershon of scolding Todd Blanche when he has time and time again in front of the jury, which by the way, this jury is not sequestered. They're not a sequestered jury. This is the most landmark historical trial in American history, the first time a former president of the executive office, a former commander in chief of our armed forces has ever in the history of America been on trial for a crime that is absolutely meritless. Nobody has never no seen grounds, anything like it. baseless, it's totally completely made up. It's an apparition. It's imagination. It's not a whole lot of see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. How high can the kangaroo jump? The kangaroo got it. We didn't know the kangaroo can jump that high. <laughs> the kangaroo can jump that high. If they peeling bananas over there in the Republic, I know they're not peeling bananas over there in that Republic. What the? What is going on? <laughs> oh, boy. In front of all of these non-sequestered jurors, the fake Don Juan Mershon, this guy right here, has been threatening Trump with jail time over a ridiculous gag order that he placed on Trump. And by the way, remember, you may say, Nez, why do you call it a ridiculous gag order? Isn't that kind of part of legal proceedings and legal precedent where you uh, 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 reprimand a defendant? You're not supposed to talk about a case, speak to a case in any way uh, 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 impugn upon the impartiality of a case. You're absolutely right. But guess what? He didn't give that same gag order. If you remember, he did not impose such a harsh gag order on star prosecutorial witness, serial perjurer, Michael Pinocchio Cohen. Pinocchio. And this guy went live on TikTok. He monetized TikTok live streams. And what did he talk about? 
Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. He only talked about Trump. He talked about the case. He sold merchandise where he had a picture of Trump behind bars. Why is that allowed? But there's a gag order on the former president, the former chief executive but a foot in our president's of mouth. our United States of America. It is a complete and utter disgrace. There's no other way of putting this, Nez Nation. It is a complete and utter disgrace. And I put some notes here just in case you didn't know. If Trump is convicted, the jury doesn't get to decide the sentencing. This corrupt, politicized, weaponized farce of a judge, he gets to decide what the sentencing is. Trump has obviously pleaded not guilty to 34, fel I mean, 34 felony counts of falsifying business records, charges punishable of up to four years in prison. Remember, there was no falsification. There was no wrongdoing. There is no business records that he falsified, that he tried to uh, fraud. There's nothing of the sort. This is completely made up. It's fabricated from thin air. It's unclear whether the prosecution will seek imprisonment in the event of a conviction or if the judge would impose that punishment. I have it on high sources, high quality sources, that courthouse security, courthouse uh, bailiffs, are in discussion with the Secret Service, Trump's Secret Service, about a potential, a possible jail conviction, sentencing, where Trump would end up in handcuffs. Wouldn't that be a photo op for the Democrat Party? Wouldn't that be a beautiful ad for these criminals, these heathens, these cretins, these anti-American treasonous pigs? Tombstone, Vegetable and Chief Biden, Kami, Kamala, and the like. Wouldn't that be something they would love to see? Don't forget, Biden has said, which is really odd and strange. I've never heard of anything like this. Biden has said he's going to do a live stream from the Oval Office as the verdict is being read. Why would you do that if you have no idea and no involvement? Don't you have better things to do, like actually doing your job? Why are you involved so heavily? in the prosecution of your number one political opponent that you are losing to. Somebody make sense of this in the comments. Please leave a comment and make sense of this. The crime is that he's winning. We understand. He's winning. That's the crime. <laughs> That's the crime. We figured it out, y'all. It's a crime to win. The Biden trials. Boy, boy, boy. Mm, mm, mm. And I told y'all, man, a lot of people are speaking up now. A lot of people are saying, man, we see what's going on. And seeing everything that's happening right now has made me lean more towards old Donald, Uncle Trump. I told y'all, man, that actor came out there on, on live. Y'all favorite actor. And said, seeing every, this all going on, Trump is my kind of old. Oh, he said that live on air. Like I said, I don't know if I can play the clip on here or not, but I wish I could. I don't even know if I can. Like I said, I, w I wish I, I could play the clip, but I don't know if I could play it. Anyways, let me. Because it doesn't make any sense at all. And then the judge tells jurors they must, as they come back from break, the judge tells jurors they must disregard the, quote, improper comment made by Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, that they shouldn't send him to prison. Of course. I mean, of course they should disregard that. Of course they shouldn't pay attention to that. Rashawn tells the jurors that Blanche's comment asking jurors not to send Trump to prison was, quote, improper and you must di disregard it. But, you know, he gets to say it every five seconds. He gets to say it every single day in trial. He said jurors are not to consider possible punishment in the deliberations and that sentencing decisions are solely up to him. Oh, goody. Now it's starting to make sense, isn't it, Nez Nation? Now it's starting to make sense why Biden is going live from the Oval Office as the verdict is being read, which could potentially happen today, more than likely tomorrow. 
It is highly more than likely. I'm going to keep you posted. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you follow. Make sure you subscribe. Our free newsletter, which is your sure proof way of never missing out, is in the pinned comment, show notes, and description. It is highly likely that today will be completely dedicated to closing arguments. The prosecution is still giving their closing arguments as I'm recording this. Uh, but I'm going to keep you posted on everything that's happening. I'm going to keep you posted up to date on everything you need to know. The truth, the objective truth of what's going on, what's happening, when is the ruling, when is the verdict, what is the verdict, everything right here. You don't want to go anywhere. I yes, indeed, man. And again, we just did our own video uh, in our previous video. But you guys... It's, it's really sad and a waste of time, waste of energy, you know. Tax paying dollars are just, boy, barking. Flying away. Complete sham, man. Oh, boy, boy. But make sure y'all are subscribed, drop a like if you can. Uh, we bring amazing updates every single day, man. Amazing reactions. Um, whatever you guys are sending in, we're checking it out, reacting to it, and it's showing you what's going on, showing you what the media doesn't want to show you, you know. And we take pride in that, man. You know, um, we receive it. Y'all see the comments, and a lot of y'all be backing me up in the comments. We see the Biden feet massagers in the comments, man. The comments, the emails are ridiculous, man. Like I tell y'all, a lot of people on this channel um, are on both sides, you know, or, you know, because my catalog is so huge on this channel from doing music reactions and doing reacting to this, reacting to that, your favorite comedians I've reacted to on the channel. I've done a lot of amazing reactions on the channel. So, uh, you know. You're going to see those weird comments. And then you're also just going to see people coming in here that are just never Trumpers or, you know. Yeah. Oh, boy. Them Patriots be backing me up in the comments. I love y'all, man. I actually, like I said, I'm one of the creators that actually read my comment section. I actually love and care for you guys, man. I'm probably the only uh, creator on here, uh, support Trump supporter, that, that, that sent out mega hats to my own subscribers you know we sent out over a thousand hats in the last two months to lovely beautiful faces beautiful patriots on the channel man families you know you guys kids people on fixed incomes veterans you know people on disability you know we, we've blessed so many people on this channel man you know disabled first responders we got the blessing my brother man he he walked into a burning building and now he can no longer work. He saved lives. We've gotten to send hats to so many amazing people that have done amazing things in their lifetime, man. And I'm, I pride myself to continue to spread the love, man, because you never know what somebody's been through. And quite frankly, we are living in some crazy dark times, man. Dark, dark times, y'all. People are struggling at an all-time high. Suicide rates, depression, anxiety, PTSD, all time high, you guys. The criminals are smiling more than my good folks, man. Sad, man. There's a lot of other things I can mention on the video, but I don't want to take up more of y'all time. So I love y'all, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you're new here. God bless all you beautiful people, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.